Welcome back to JNS Daily Drives, everyone. My name is Jacob, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2013 Mercedes Benz GL350 Blue Tech. In today's video, we're going to go over the massive exterior, the massive interior, talk a little bit about what's powering this beast, and go on a thorough drive. Let's get started. I'd like to start with the front of the Mercedes-Benz GL class because the GL class is Mercedes massive SUV. It's their full-size SUV. It has seven seats. It has an absolutely gigantic trunk and well it's just big in general. Starting off at the front as you can tell there is a lot of ground, ground clearance on this car as you can tell it comes almost all the way up to my knee and this is just in regular mode. I'll show you this car actually has an air suspension lift system which can bring it up even more. In terms of the front end, it's classic Mercedes Benz. If you look here, this is the Mercedes Benz emblem. It looks as if it's 3D, but it's actually not, it's 2D. And what's under there is actually the radar assisted cruise control. That is tucked in here instead of having those ugly kind of sensors down here they've integrated it nice and well classic with mercedes in general is we have these hood vents located on top of this massive hood right here so we have the mercedes benz intelligent light system which provides wonderful lighting in dark conditions other than that we have our fog lights down below front and rear parking sensors along with a front view camera this car actually has a full 360 camera so you don't crash your gl when you're parking it move on to the side and see what that looks like. If we move on to the side here, we have the side steps here to help enter your GL. Along with that, we have a massive, massive kind of quarter section here. This window on most cars is pretty tiny. It's about a half to a third of the size of the rear passenger window and the front windows. But as you can tell here, it's pretty much the exact same size. It's absolutely massive. I am 6'2", and this is what it looks like beside me. It's absolutely humongous. Now, if you thought that the rest of the car looked huge, you haven't even seen the rear of it yet. Look how absolutely astronomical this rear end is. The rear window is absolutely gigantic, plenty of visibility when you're in the driver's seat. This car is actually so tall, like I said on the side, just look how big it is. It's very wide too. Like you said, it is a full-size SUV, so you kind of expect this. But what's really interesting is how much trunk space this car has. It's astounding. It goes on for years in there. Absolutely gigantic. I mean, I could fit probably six full-size pieces of luggage in the back of this thing. It's absolutely massive and it has seven seats. So if I took this trunk liner out right here, click these two switches on the side here, those rear seats would pop up, giving you more space for more people. If you have hockey games, soccer games, stuff like that. Located right here is the cargo space when the seats are folded up when there's passengers back there. There's also going to be right here, the cargo space with the furthest rear seats folded up as well. And then right above my head is going to be the, when the seats are completely folded down for maximum cargo space. Now that we've talked about the exterior of this massive SUV, let's go ahead and talk about what's powering it. Now that's a three liter turbo diesel engine producing 240 horsepower and 455 pound feet of torque. Let's go take a look at it. Now here it is, the three liter turbo diesel. 
it's absolutely massive. You can see that not only can this car fit this engine, but there's actually a GL63, which fits a 5.5 liter twin turbo V8 in there. So, I think we should hear how it sounds. No, it's not the best sounding engine in the world, but that's not what you would expect from a diesel engine like this. You expect efficiency and low end torque, which this car has. Now let's go to the back and get a nice diesel exhaust clip. Now that we've heard how the engine sounds, gotten that not so great exhaust clip, there's nothing left to do but go for a drive. Before we go on with the rest of this review, I have to say a special thank you, as always, to Norm and the rest of the team over at International Motor Cars. They were the ones who provided me with this beautiful Mercedes for the day. Special shout out to them. Like I said, they have an absolutely incredible selection of vehicles and a massive variety as well. Ranging from Honda Civics to Lamborghini Gallardos and Audi R8s. They have absolutely everything. Make sure to go check them out. Link below in the description will be the link for this exact car, as well as the link to their web homepage. Go check them out because they're gonna help you find your next car. Now we're inside and we're driving the 2013 Mercedes-Benz GL350 Bluetech Diesel. And now we can start to talk a little bit about how this car drives, how it feels, and what it would like to be as your daily driver. Now I'd like to start, like I always do, with the engine and the transmission. So like I said, this is a three liter turbo diesel engine producing 240 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque. Now that torque number, you're gonna expect that from a car like this. You have a diesel engine in a larger car, you're gonna make north of 400 pound-feet of torque. It's the same thing as the Porsche Cayenne diesel. It doesn't make a lot of power, but it makes a lot of torque. So how does this torque feel? How does it feel when you really kind of push it if you need to? So I'm just driving along and it's not fast. I mean, it's just not, there's no way to say that it is. You would need to get probably the GL63, not even the 550 to get it to actually feel like it's moving pretty quickly. Because this car is so big, it's absolutely massive. It weighs so much that the acceleration isn't gonna be mind blowing, but it's sufficient enough to propel you if you were to overtake someone or if you're put into a position where you need to accelerate quickly. Like merging, for example, it's very good for that. This transmission, which it shifts pretty seamlessly when you're just driving along normally, you don't really feel it. For a transmission that is meant to be an easy transmission to use in a big car like this, it's perfect. It's a perfect fit for this car. I think the GL63 could use a sharper transmission, which I'm sure it does, but for this diesel, it's perfect just the way it is. Other than that, in terms of how this car feels on the road when you're driving, because it's so big, it does have air suspension so you can raise or lower it if you need to for ground clearance. The suspension is soft, you don't feel any of the bumps and you wouldn't expect to in a car like this. You know, this car was $70,000, $80,000 brand new. So you would expect it to handle bumps like a champion doesn't have a bunch of adaptable suspension but it does the job really well the seats are very comfortable they don't hold you in as well as a lot of other cars but you don't want it to that's not what this car is about this car is about long journeys that's what this car is about it's not designed to be fast at all it's designed to be very efficient and it does a very good job of that now let's talk about the features in this car so this car has a bunch of safety features built in, which is a huge plus coming from a car that was built in 2013. It has, if I go down to the actual page here, I can go to settings. I have distance display, pre-safe brake, attention assist, blind spot assist, lane keep assist. All of these are nice little things to have, especially in a huge car like this. Because it's so big, you, you, you know, you're gonna run into a few situations where you can't see what's around you just because there's such a it's such a big bodied car and from the front to the back having these 
really helps make sure that you're safe on the road, that the car does what it's supposed to. It does a fantastic job of it, and I'm very impressed by it. We have front heated seats on both sides. We have rear heated seats. We have rear zone climate control that the rear passengers can actually adjust themselves. Dual zone climate control in the front, as you would expect from a car like this. Adaptive cruise control that goes along with all the other safety features that I talked about. And just the overall feel of the interior. It feels very, very well built. That's just German engineering at its best once again. All of the materials, the dashboard, it's all soft. The steering wheel is just amazing to hold. I don't really like the design of it, but it does feel really good in your hand. All the materials, like I said, are very, very nice. I don't really see the point in getting the 550, especially, that doesn't make any sense to me. The 63, it's an AMG, but you know what? I wouldn't get it. As much as I love AMGs and that V8, I would rather get this, the 350 Blue Tech, over either of those cars for two simple reasons. Number one being, in a car that weighs as much as this, putting a massive engine in it isn't really gonna do a whole lot to the performance. What it's gonna do is empty out your bank account when you go to the gas station every 15 minutes because it's a big engine, heavy car, it's gonna use way more fuel. And number two, what's the point in having a full-size SUV that's quick? It, does, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. If you're gonna get a mid-size SUV, like a Porsche Cayenne, a Range Rover Sport, it makes sense. You know, I understand that. I've always been a big, you know, super sport SUV guy. I've always loved that. But in a full-size SUV, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now the biggest thing, and not meant to be a pun here, about this car is the space. The space in here is unlike any other car I've ever driven. The headroom, I'm 6'2 and I have seven, eight inches of headroom above me because of that sunroof. It's crazy how much space I have in here. Legroom, I can bring my seat all the way back without ease, I fit no problem at all. Rear seats, so much legroom, it's ridiculous. It's like a limo, honestly, back there. And then the furthest, the third row of seats also has pretty good size legroom, even though it's the third row, and generally speaking, third rows don't have a lot of room. This one actually does. And I mean, cargo space, whew. That trunk is absolutely gigantic. Well, guys, I have a very interesting thing that's about to happen. And it's sitting in that seat right there. That is my girlfriend, Maddie. Say hello. Hello. So, I, do you like about this car? And Yeah. I do like the, you know, the setup in here. It is just a little bit old. I think you probably feel the same way, don't it? Yeah. But, but it's not It's not to the point where it's like, oh my god, I can't even look at it. Yeah, it's not like that RS4 that we drove last week where the infotainment screen was literally that big and mm -hmm. it was useless. I mean, it doesn't have touchscreen, which I don't know about you, but I, I kind of wish it had touchscreen. I just find it a little bit more with the times, I guess you would say, right? Yeah. Because if you That's had to describe huge. how big the trunk is. It's massive. You... Like, it's literally the size of a, like, you know how you see those things on, like, Pinterest where they like go camping in the back of the yes. trunk you could literally make an entire room out of the trunk that's true you literally could fit it is uh, an inflatable bed back there yeah this like you car, could live out of this car absolutely I mean it'd be an interesting seeing people live out of this car but you could definitely do it I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to smash that like button I have an idea if this video can get 150 likes say 150 likes. If this video gets 150 likes, my girlfriend and I will do some sort of video together driving. It'll be fun, it'll be cool. Make sure to smash that like button so you can see it because we want to film it. I know we do, don't you? Yes. Okay, so smash that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.